Imagine a world where you get on an elevator and, upon being asked which floor you want to visit, respond with ladies lingerie. Then, just hours later, you have a complaint filed against you and a professional academic organization demanding you apologize for the joke. That's what's happening to one professor. Let's take a look. With books like Demilitarizing Masculinities in the Age of Empire, comments comparing Israel to a rapist and Palestinians to rape victims, a Facebook page featuring a cat but no husband, and the short cropped hair of women who refuse to be oppressed by the patriarchy, gender studies professor Simona Sharoni is precisely the type of person you'd expect to take an offhand joke and turn it into a political weapon to try and destroy someone's career. The Mary Mack College professor reported King's College London political theory professor Richard Ned LeBeau for saying ladies lingerie when asked which floor he wanted to visit on an elevator. Because you know, at first it's only a harmless joke, but next thing you know this 76 year old man will be out raping in broad daylight. Sharoni and LeBeau were attending a conference in San Francisco, of course, held by the International Studies Association. In her complaint to the ISA, Sharoni said, I am still trying to come to terms with the fact that she and another colleague froze and didn't confront him. As a survivor of sexual harassment in the academy, I am quite shaken by this incident. Wow, this is sad not only because even the Washington Post columnists and commenters think Sharoni's complaint was silly, but also because this kind of petty, vindictive behavior gives all sexual abuse activism a bad rap, including people who are actually trying to prevent serious stuff like rape. Anyway, when he found out she had complained, LeBeau wrote to Sharoni, saying he had no desire to insult woman or to make her feel uncomfortable calling her complaint frivolous, and saying that, like her, he is strongly opposed to the exploitation, coercion, or humiliation of women. As such evils continue, it seems to me to make sense to direct our attention to real offenses, not those that are imagined or marginal. You'd think that would be enough damage control, right? But the elderly professor seems to have forgotten that nothing short of complete and utter submission will satisfy these power-hungry culture warriors. ISA executive director Mark Boyer called LeBeau's joke offensive and inappropriate, said that his calling the complaint frivolous was an even more serious violation, and ordered him to send Sharoni an unequivocal apology if he doesn't want to be punished. LeBeau has refused to apologize, and good on him. Of course, the true harassers in this scenario are Sharoni and the scholarly group for, like some sort of totalitarian police force, trying to extort a false confession out of this poor man. Perhaps the International Studies Association needs to study up a bit on what has happened internationally in societies that punish thought crime. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.